There you go. I basically know exactly where it is because I parked exactly in front of it. And in this park, you would not know this is a bunch of other companies. You would not know unless you would know what you're doing. Of course I was here. And here is my car, look. And that's my car right here. So, you can't say I did not know what the hell I was doing. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Proszę pana, znate co? So this is basically the direction I did not come from because I came from the other direction. But this here, this here, what you see, this is also Brukova 16, where I am right now. But you would go to the Brukova, the way you would get here, basically, the way I came here would be actually through this gate. This is what it says, Brukova 16, you see? And what is here? This here is what it is. That's right there. That's a board right there with the, with the business companies and so on. And what I did was I remembered how it looks in the back. In the back of the, in the back of the place. And this is basically how I have located. So you think if I would not know stuff I'm talking about that uh, I would just come like this? No, it does not happen. So now you have it. This is already yet another something like this. Yes, I know what I'm doing. There is no doubt about this. That's what makes me actually believe that he could be the one. Okay, no wonder that you would make a mistake. There is nothing you can find out. This is how I'm recognizing people. But I recognize him from MK Ultra. All these people try to help me out. You can see the Lulu is everywhere. Now 15,000 zloty for the Lulu. Zaginel Lulu. Zaginel Lulu.
Well, this was recorded sometimes on actually well, today is the December 17 2019 it is what is got here I don't remember the people can tell you I even remember there is a I didn't know I thought this still exists there is a I don't know how much you can see it okay Garage's entrance and all the way here. This is where the gentleman was located right there. Did you see it? He gave me a confirmation. This existed till like three years ago. This market, flea market I'm talking about. And so I did not only recognize him, I knew where in this old market the gentleman was located. In a market which does not exist anymore three years. He gave me confirmation. I came to Poland for the first time in 2018. So how can I know now it's again, it's December the 17th, 2019. How would I know where he was in this market? The lady I have recognized her is here the longest with just a little car. Uh, store with a used clothing. I was capable to point out not only the lady that that uh, that i recognized her this was a wow cutie everybody dreamed about all these americans were completely crazy about now i actually pointed out where this store was located and i'm not talking about this store i'm talking about the store before this one i have explained that their store which no longer exists was located next to the railroad if you have a doubt, then again, how the hell would I know these things? Okay, where this, where these people had stores which no longer even exist, where they worked before and so on. You understand this? The gentleman who was there was the husband. The lady I have spoken right now, uh, giving the confirmation, was here since from forever, since 2006. Even pointed out this is her daughter. The whole bunch of things that are just... For the investigator you go over just one recording like this i got plenty of them this is not the only one i got plenty of proofs like this i'm gonna put this online i don't feel like doing this stuff it's a waste of time because i gotta take care of my bills but what the investigators are doing in this case they're they clearly are violating the law because they don't want to investigate the case they don't want to do their job basically if they do the job it's a million proofs i have i can prove that it's factual stuff before here before this location here i have identified location the people uh the oil business just like i did the other company and so on i don't have a time to put so many videos online but you can clearly see that i know where i am people recognize me and so on so you know this is just a random store like this and with the used clothing. Used clothing, I already said that Americans were into used clothing. Of course, I remember her. I remember her husband, I pointed out. I remember the previous location we were at, that lady mentioned. I remember that's right next to the railroad. Even this, I remember. So, how much do I remember, you tell me?
Okay, the gentleman I'm talking about is about 55 years old, is about my size, well, six, something like this. Must be his office, that one right there. It's not much of this building, but I think this is the one up on the first floor, if you want to say this or whatever it is. That's what we are going to talk, uh, talk to whatever. Today he is, in fact, again, December the 7th, 2019, he is. December the 19th, 2019, here he is. Just a days ago, on December the 17th, I have recognized quite a few people and quite a few businesses. That's why I'm going to use, I would say, beyond any doubt. Again, beyond something anyone could possibly doubt, I was brought, bottom, subjected here to torture uh, for no less than 21 years. Uh, so I'm going to use these proofs uh, to push even further my anti-Russia claim beyond any doubt, because obviously things aren't moving the way they should. Uh, there is something going on out there. Uh, if there is a better explanation than controls European Union Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg, uh, and if there is a better explanation even than control the United Nations, Amnesty International is a human rights organization, so if there is a better explanation for that. I'm not going to even go into International Criminal Court because I don't have much to say other than Russians were involved in it. Uh, Irish individual who investigated the case told me alone that he will not go against the Russians and all kinds of stuff like this. Uh, so it's a lobby, it's a political lobby. Okay, not so bad. I was pushed even further up. They claim the whole thing, the whole place is a library. I know at the top of the building. And uh, it's not so bad. Uh, as long as they would at least allow me to record video here, that would be really nice. Otherwise, this is a public place, but this is the library, a little bit different. Uh, the regulations differ from other libraries uh, in many ways. So I don't really Okay, here is what it is. I had an appointment on December the 17th, like I said, this is two days ago, with a gentleman from Lotus Oil Company. I did open my own business here. Uh, I am pushing a lot of products. We'll do a lot of products. I don't know how this is going to end because stuff Donald Trump have created. I will explain more about this coming. Uh, but here's what it is, for 10 o'clock that day, I had an appointment with a gentleman from Lotus at the city lodge. It's quite far away from where I live, from here, from Sobol. Not to mention Grotenkin, you just, you can imagine the amplitudes, the amount of people involved in this stuff. I cannot immediately remember everybody, but at some certain people that made an impression about me, in me, uh, I could even go as far as in this case, I'm going to demonstrate, let's say, that I recognized at the flea market a gentleman. Uh, I have pointed out actually the location of his business, of his flea market stand, and at the flea market, which no longer even exists. Therefore, at the flea market that ceased to exist about three years ago. This is how far I'm going to go in this video. Uh, I'm going to point out the, uh, the issue of a couple whom I have recognized in a used clothing store. I said that Americans were crazy about used clothing. Uh, I did go as far as pointing out the gentleman who was hus who was the husband. I was there. I, I was I dared enough to ask whether. If I properly remember, this is your husband. That's one thing. And second thing I have described is I pointed out the store, which no longer exists for 20 years, the location of the store, where the store was located. And they gave me the confirmation it was, in fact, located next to the rail. So these are, these are like an extraordinary uh, shots that I give, that I point out that 
I remember people where they had their businesses, where they worked before, even in locations which no longer exist. One location no longer exists for 20 years, the other location no longer exists for three years. Officially remember, I came to Poland in 2018 to file political asylum for the first time. So, without any doubt, that I do erase all the doubts that possibly can exist that I know what I am talking about. Brought from the US for torture here, tormented here, and left for dead, basically. At 10 o'clock is when I supposed to meet with a gentleman at a Rotos station. Uh, and so I used time to meet earlier, about 9.15 something. Um, it was something like this, I don't know. Uh, with 9 o'clock. With people from Shell, local branch uh, in charge for this area here, for the Lord Sibiyoshi area, greater area. Uh, all obviously regarded in the distribution of oil. Uh, got myself in a little oil business still. You're talking about engine oils, not petroleum or anything like this. And so to distribute these products, I have to know as much as possible about as many as possible. So I can give my clients a choice and so on. And so, number one, I entered through the gates, just as described at the beginning of the video, uh, from direction that you would have no idea, nothing about uh, where this business is located. I locate the business just going back and forth, driving myself back and forth. Actually, when I start in the car, I think it's already recorded that I say that I think I know where the business is located. Uh, and I describe this as in the building. I describe this as a door. Uh, and I, I describe this uh, next to the bigger door. Uh, like a loading dock. I was thinking that that was it. Um, the Chris made a mistake and I, when I talked to the gentleman, okay, so I come to the place, I come to the location, instead of wasting 30 minutes to one hour, when they tested Americans, they would, they, nobody could find this because there's no sign, there's nothing. You're talking about just a little door on the first floor up. And so now if you don't know where this business is located in a, such a quite a big place where so many businesses uh, there's no way you're gonna find it and so what I do is I drive back and forth and rather to go even the next door and this and that and ask people where this is where that is I actually park right in front of the business in the back of the building which I remember it's what I also describe uh, when I talk on the audio recording, I'm going to post the whole original audio recording about it, so there will be no doubt about that. Before I go there, I already described it, right? And so, as I come to this location, I park the car just as I suggested in the back of this uh, building. I wanted to use the restroom, and the gentleman told me it's on the first floor up. And so I go up and I already see the businesses, the people, several girls I see who are involved in MKUltra, other cuties, of course. This is how they get the MKUltra going, it's by involving beautiful women and excite me and, you know, it was all kinds of stuff that went on. Anyway, uh, they talk right there, I remember them, I go by, I see Casa Piscana, I see where uh, all the business, what they do uh, with... Uh, where they process, uh, you know, they have machines used for the processing credit cards and stuff like this. And so I continue, I recognize the whole floor. I don't even go inside of the business because uh, I go to the toilet, I rush to the toilet. I, as I return back, I go right in front of the door, knock, knock. I hear actually the guy just give me a phone call that I'm standing in front of the door. And I say, yes, I am. They know for every step. 
I am in. It's not only this time that uh, I know what the business is. I have another audio coming that is going to confirm that inside of the garage in the Galleria, I would go and by mistake I would have in the pocket, I would place a ticket, parking ticket. And as I would return from a used clothing store, uh, I would just dump this ticket along with paper wrapping from the chocolate into the trash bin. I have forgotten there was a ticket in there. Uh, proceeded to the car and as soon as I would return to pick up the ticket, they would switch me the ticket with a double ticket, completely unusual, it's all video recorded. On what I could not process the ticket at exit gate, and security officer would come and he would describe me exactly that uh, if I actually am the one who have thrown uh, the ticket uh, inside of the trash bin. So they, they watch everywhere I go, everything I'm all the time I'm on the cameras, everything I do. And eventually all this stuff is also audio recorded to prove. I would go up there and uh, had to report myself and they give me a new ticket and they let me go. But I'm just trying to explain how audio recording monitored surveillance I am. I am on the camera all the time. All the time. The security officer tells me, we know everything. And they do. It's not only here in, in the public, but it's also over the way state. That's what I'm saying. This thing is more than just real. This is not some kind of paranoia or something. Nevertheless, I get in there, uh, the three people inside is a young girl, is an old owner who is there, and it's a younger gentleman. The younger gentleman says he's only on there since 2015, okay, twice we have seen him, each other at least. The owner, I remember him since from forever, was there, he gave me all the confirmation. I think I'm sure they come. The only one that doesn't give me confirmation is a girl who according to her is one year there, uh, never mind, I'm going to tell you, put them on the lie detector test and I guarantee you uh, that either of the two of the guys did have a little affair with them. For that matter, if I would say I would get a bad price is what I was told, but I already got the price, so it uh, shouldn't be so damn bad. Um, Somehow we're gonna manage all this. Uh, she's all acquaintance who was involved in MK Ultra as well. Also recognize her. Anyway, I proceed to the gas station to meet with a gentleman from uh, a Lotus company. He's not there, but he set me up with people whom I have recognized at the gas station. And there's a gentleman that lives not too far from there. He's a local. I recognize him. Uh, they also tried to confuse me with who is, what is, and they did quite very successfully so. Uh, at this gas station they did not succeed, it, but the next day they did. Uh, the gentleman who enters inside has like Max uh, painting on himself and told me that you're going to recognize me as soon as I come in and this and that. He was not the right one and I did not go jump to him and I actually point an audio recording that he is a gentleman who live in a high rise, I don't know, uh, kind of storage still building, something like this not too far from there. Uh, then I recognize a gentleman, a stronger gentleman and a fitter gentleman who's got a beard. The fitter gentleman who's got a beard uh, was involved in MK Ultra insisted that he's going to be there to listen, to watch, to see if something like this is actually really possible, Some, somebody can do this stuff like this. Yeah, he became, as soon as I started to talk to myself, it looked like he became impressed. The lady, the older lady at the gas station was not impressed with me because I made a very bad impression. Unfortunately, there's another cutie Polish one. It was not a hundred, it must have been two hundred women they had involved in this. She seduced me too under MK Ultra, I promised myself to her too. Under MK Ultra, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I think I promised myself about all the women in Poland, I think it was like this. And also in the Russia, and everywhere I went, I think. Uh, but this is just MK Ultra. 
and people were excited for many reasons to have me around. This is basically like, a, you know, the children go to a Walt Disney thing, let's say, to entertain them. The adults, they would go to Poland and they would give themselves a doll toy, they could do whatever they want to do with. Basically, a live human being that you can do anything you want to do, basically a slave. So this is a new form of entertainment that Buckingham Palace, Berlin, uh, have demonstrated to Eastern Europe. Uh, it scaled on a global scale. The, the whole thing expanded to the global uh, scale. It exploded. I'm afraid about the future, about what's coming up. Because I realized that people from Hollywood, they were not interested in helping out. Some actually were. But many have actually seen themselves in tricking me as a success. They collected all kinds of tricks, uh, projected themselves uh, through me all kinds of views and wanted to see if they have done successfully enough. I bet there are bets out there. I bet there's all this kind of dirty stuff going on on behalf of someone who lost 25 years of life. It's actually not even cool. But explaining this to the people like this, what difference does it make anyway? I would believe when I hear something, when somebody does something for me, not to the bunch of people that bat themselves in the money and are silent out there just watching this whole deal going by, something like this. It's so pathetic when I think about people like this. These are not even people in my eyes, really. And so, I recognize a bunch of people. I get the confirmation, I recognize a driver that comes, but I'm mistaken about his location as for being in Alexander Olorchko. Unfortunately, with Chris, with whom I was going through all this, he confused me on many issues. He makes mistakes. He confuses. Uh, I was in his home. If you have a doubt about it, you can subject me to evaluation. You can give me different scenarios, and I'm going to demonstrate what most likely his home is, and so on. All this stuff I know. Uh, so that I did, I missed. But other than that, I even got the confirmation that he supplied this tool for many years. That. Uh, gentleman with beard and uh, uh, a sturdy gentleman. Uh, they know each other for very long. These are old friends that would meet at this gas station quite often. This is their like frequent location where the two meet to discuss whatever. Uh, even further, the gentleman reminds me that he was that he got a job in England. So the people that I meet frequently are in Slovenia or they got jobs in England through me. And he is very satisfied. He was very satisfied with income he earned, and he give he tells that money was good, that he was treated well, and so on. Unfortunately, I do believe Poland does have a problem when it comes to health services especially related to mental health. I think there is all kinds of stuff that goes on that uh, it's exaggerated. I think they took a little bit upon, too much upon themselves, the government did, uh, upon meeting Donald Trump. I think that Donald Trump was too good teacher, too good of a teacher on how things are done. And I'm afraid for these people in this country. I'm afraid that things are gonna go from bad to the worst. What I have seen have happened to me at work here in Poland, which was, which was like a total um, copy of schizophrenia, paranoia, on how to drive individual nuts to become really a schizophrenic, a paranoid. I'm afraid that society is completely infested with this kind of issues. Employers don't want to pay, I think, for, for this stuff. The whole society becomes so econo economy based, they're just using a human being to get the most out of them and basically just waste them, trash them, to reduce on social security expenses and stuff like this. Something I do not agree. I agree in, in giving back to society, in giving back to people. I believe, I have criticized, I have, I have blasted this country big time and I will continue to do so until I see some serious improvements. But 
I do embrace this people, regardless of all these lies I have gone through. I will fight for this people, because this is how it's done. And so from here, from this point and on, I continue, I go back, basically back in this jungle, uh, having business, I have to expand my horizon, I have to see what's going on around, scan, um, scout if you want area. And what I do, I scout one for wholesale, for the, whole, uh, for the local wholesalers. And so now I found myself at the flea markets, at the flea markets, First, what I do is I scout the whole thing for the deals. I go over, I watch people, I know everybody. Then at one point, I say, okay, game over. I turn the recorder off and I go about business. And I start the recording owners. I identify absolutely everything. I point out who the oldest, uh, the oldest not, but uh, the lady that is the longer there than anyone else is. Um, Beside all these businesses, I also identify the gentleman who used to have a business in so-called Wielkopolski, Wielkopolski Rynek, a big Polish uh, flea market which no longer exists. For three years he told me no longer exists. As I knew him, I, I'm standing in front of a person I know, I remember the person. I can see him selling, doing things, and I'm saying, you are here since forever. No, I'm not. I'm not. I was, I came here, uh, like, I think two years ago that he came. But he was, he was there already before that, because this is, this is what was confusing. He was there already in 2015 and so on. He was there already in 2015. The problem is that he was not only there, he was also a man from other market that is about maybe I have no idea two kilometers maybe away from there maybe more I don't know about um, and I get you know every time when I, whenever I get a no or something like this is for me it's a challenge and so what I do is I sculpt my memory and I point out what I do is I take a pen uh, I already go around I finish the whole thing I take a pen and I draw a sketch and I come back to him and I said, look, sir, I remember you. This is what the market looked like. Uh, no, I didn't describe the market, but it's a, let's say this is what the market uh, looks like. And you took me by the hand straight from this location right here from this entrance all the way to that direction right there. And this is where your stand was. And he says, yes, this is the way it is. So he gave me confirmation about absolutely everything. Man flirts with me. He loves me. The people love me. When the people see me, they're excited. They're happy to see me. Uh, there was somebody who didn't love to see me. That's uh, another cutie over there that I have fallen for, uh, who did not want to fall for me. That one, I don't know already since at least, I'm pretty damn sure, 2008 she was there. She, how long does she has a business, I don't know. The only thing I know is that she had all kinds of issues. Uh, then a boyfriend or whatever husband was became jealous. It was all kinds of stuff, screaming. Uh, deal did not go through with me. Like I said, they always took me away from the picture. Woman got disappointed. It was all kinds of stuff. She got in trouble. She claimed that she's there from 2015. It's not true. No way. Not true. A gentleman over there also angry at me. Don't want, they, the two of them uh, don't want to give me any response. He was the one who actually gestured that he tried to date her, at least, if this is not her husband. At least. And I say this in audio recording. Uh, I don't know what the deal became between the two of them. Did the two became family related or not? I have no idea. In my opinion, they did. If they didn't, I have no idea what happened between them over time or whatever uh, it was. But at one time it was something I was at least suggested. Right next there, there is a lady who is there also since from forever. I explained 2006 and so on. She would not give any kind of confirmation, any kind of answer on my questions about her. They made an agreement before that, that when I appear over there, 
there will be no answers or whatever given in respect to this. Now, um, with my claim that she was there already since 2006 and so on, I disperse the clouds about doubt that I would know who she is, that I would recognize her. But I go around and I see a girl comes to her and talks to her. And I go to her and I said, excuse me, ma'am, just so you're going to make sure that I do remember you. This here, this cutie right here standing next to you, this is actually your daughter. And she said, wow, that is true. Okay, now, so now, you remember me or not? Yes, I remember you. Use clothing store. I have recognized other people, but I'm just going to concentrate on the most extraordinary uh, recognitions. Use clothing store. The two people work inside. One is a cutie, I remember, she's older now, but what a beautiful woman this was, everybody was crazy about her. You could never forget her. And your dreams appeared to me in MK Ultra. The man next to her, I have identified him. I already walked out, was not her co-worker. I came back and said, you know what, this is a co-worker. Yeah. Uh, they mentioned to me they had the same thing, that they, that, that they're, uh, that, uh, this is the store they worked already for a long time, but they mentioned to me old store, 20 years old ago, 20 years ago store. Uh, I say, yes, I know your store. Your store was actually located next to the rail. We were in your store and they give me the green light. See, I remember even not only about the flea market, which no longer exists for three years, where the gentleman had his stand, but even about where the store was positioned, where the store was 20 years ago, no longer exists. But I remember all the way back when we were there with Americans, all the way to 2003, 2002, 2003, 2004, where the store was. And the la how I remember the last time they took me and they told me, just in case you will, somehow you will remember about this, it's right next to the railroad, not too far from there. I can describe one in my head, everything I know. Everything I know, everything I remember, is just about how good my memory is. From that point on, I continue. I go to another, I found myself a wholesale business, bijuteria, um, you know, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, mostly for the ladies, some jewelry and stuff like that. And I find uh, basically a gentleman, the owner, the old friend from 2002, 2000, not 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, politically, all the people I recognize, I identify, I can tell about everybody who is what is. I can tell even about the girl he mentions is in China, all about her. I did not spoke to her, but if I go there, I can do it. The gentleman knows me, the gentleman recognized me. I get many yes about Americans. So. People recognize me now. Um, the gentleman, the gentleman, the gentleman, the gentleman. Oh, I know so much about this business. I know so many things about this. I know so many, so many, so many things about this stuff. You have no idea. Um, I recognize people. I recognize the son, I, I recognize the, the, the girl that has also some kind of, uh, looks like a mental related issues, she is his daughter. And if I properly remember, it was a KGB, it was a lot about the KGB, it was a lot tremendously about the Russians. If the Russians would not like somebody, the only thing they would do is they would do something to their family members. And I'm afraid that he became a victim of that kind of uh, involvement of the Russian involvement of the KGB involvement against them. This is a very dangerous place, Poland. There's all kinds of stuff that happens here with the Kaczynski, with the stuff. So many crimes happen here that you have no idea. Russian government had here a free hands to do whatever they wanted to do with the people. I no longer know what the situation is. I remember one immigration officer, they would rape women here. Eventually, it came to the point when Polish immigration started to take care of these things. They took their hands, uh, situation in their own hands. They stopped this kind of MK ultra rapes and all kinds of stuff that went on. 
You don't know anything about what I have gone through, what I have seen, whom I have met, what my life was like. What I can tell you about the business, before I even enter inside the business, I knew where a gentleman, the boss, the one that is like his second hand, where he's located inside, where his office is and so on. Of course, I know everybody. The thing about this business is, is there's also other stuff, but this is, I'm going to uh, dedicate myself to some other stuff, uh, totally other related issues. Now, the only thing I'm going to do is I'll let you uh, audio recording for investigators so you can hear this by yourself with your own ears. If you understand Polish, if not, hire yourself somebody, but don't neglect this case no more. Don't pretend this case does not exist, right? So that's all we're going to do. Um, completely undeniable, this whole thing. When I meet uh, the second day with a gentleman from a lot of us who did not manage to get. This gentleman was hated by Americans. They didn't like him. It's the gentleman who worked at Venel Company. 20 years ago, something we met with this gentleman at the Venel Company. This was his beginning in 2002, 2003, 2004. I don't know what, what exactly it was. Um, it was just something, I think, if I remember properly, that he would be leaving something like this from the company and we would uh, appear on the picture, something like this. It was right in between. He was leaving, he left. So I really have to find out exactly from him when exactly he left, so that gives me a little bit more insight about the Lord's years uh, when we came. Uh, because he mentioned some number really far back. And that's really, really useful number for me to use. Um, the first time I was with the Donald Trump, anyways, in Zgirsch, it was in year 99 already in, in Zgirsch, in Poland, at the building very close by here, uh, the construction went on. It's a very, very important gentleman for me. Uh, they didn't like him even a bit. Uh, they created all kinds of scenarios, all kinds of uh, situations. Uh, that I would not get in touch with him and, and that is the most expensive one that is far away from there, don't go there, don't do this, don't do that. They used local businesses under MK Ultra to stress me that when I come to them, they make all kinds of brainwash scenarios, how I have to buy myself stuff, load myself with the stuff, go to the flea market and sell it. Most of this stuff, if I would do, it would be catastrophe. I would completely destroy myself. Americans have used, Chris was used to literally create damage, to cause damage, all kinds of scenarios that at this stage in time, when I would be doing, I would completely wreck myself. It's like a Chris said, according to him alone, if you're not going to come to Poland, they're going to come to kill you in Slovenia. He said, you are my little bitch, I own you like this. In his own words, basically like this. I don't have anything to add to that stuff. Uh, they have used local businesses. Still, these local businesses that they were used, they actually grab you like this on the throat, under the MKO to tell you what you gotta buy. When you come here, the only thing you do is you take, you grab, you grab, you grab, you grab, you go, you go, you go, you sell, you sell. Uh, fireworks, I don't know, you go, you buy, New Year coming, you go, you market, you sell, you sell, you sell, but uh, indirectly, they, they want to disperse all your doubts about what's going on. Yeah, but those fireworks are expensive. Yeah, but man, the young people come and they buy and they buy and they buy. You got, and you got to hurry up. You got to buy them. Look what time of the year is. When you consider all this stuff, how they time everything so you would, they, you would go and you would do this. Later on, it came out. There was other people who would be selling fireworks. They didn't sell so well. You have lower prices in Dina. Dina is like a major market. Uh, like a supermarket, super chain of the Polish stores here in, in Poland and so on, they would sell them for way less and so on. It's all kinds of scam they tried. Donald Trump did all kinds of state-of-the-art scam, stuff still that they have to come up with. You have no idea uh, when once you want to do the business, what, what kind of, all kinds of scams, all kinds of uh, state-of-the-art ways to get you. Uh, on the picture, but still the people and how it was, you would have the bosses telling you, if 
you don't sell for so much and so much and do so much and do and do this and do all kinds of stuff and you don't turn so much money and spin the money around we're gonna think there's something wrong with you that you're actually mentally ill they tell you this stuff under empty ultra like this they have the politicians here Joe Biden was here Joe Biden inside of the home where I was he acted like he would go and sell demonstrate to me how he would go to the stores and stuff like this that he would go and sell the stuff unless Donald Trump used some doppelganger or something like this it's a total manipulator it's a possible how the Joe was a great salesman I was asking him a question how come Joe that you work in this politics and if you're so good and you're so good they make you believe that he's so good that he can sell the stuff like this but you know the thing is I had my own store in Miami for many many years and I know everything about the wholesale and the retail you can't really teach me new and when the, the stuff they talk I had to act stupid I had to add stupid questions oftentimes for to give them an idea how stupid I am so they can see themselves in a situation basically what's going to happen to me and so on I had to study them as well understand them what exactly they want they wanted to position me in many scenarios that would make me ridiculous in scenarios that I would actually resent local business people who are people who want to help me including the stores they just took advantage of them they just wanted to grab them by the throat basically so they, they, they would do the way they want and destroy me basically Donald Trump this is this is the man that is this is this is this is a con artist criminal mobster gangster that should be in the jail if anywhere else and I think this is just his temporary stay in the White House I think from there he's going to the jail or something worse even uh, with him this is this is a total criminal so there you go let's go and for those of you that understand Polish enjoy yourself go ahead and listen to uh, what exactly I have gone through on December the 7th, 2019. These are undisputable facts, proofs about MT Ultra. Whatever you are, you cannot dispute any of my claims that these are not real proofs. Thanks for watching this video.